Hello everyone, we will continue the sales order report case study and in the previous video, customer identified a bug. We analyzed the bug, why, why that bug is there. Now we will resolve the bug. Now all previous transport requests are released. It means we need to create a new transport request for our changes. Suppose I will go to SC09 transaction port and I will create a transport request. I will click on to create button. I will create a workbench request. I will give the short description. Sales order report bug solution. Or I'll say bug resolution. In every project, we have a bug ID. So we can give the bug number or defect number. In the project, we will use the word defect. I will go for OK. Now this is our transport request. So firstly, we will go for changes. Now, if the order number is in the VBAK table, means header data is there, but item data is not there. Still, still, it should come in the output. It should. So then what we will do? From the header table, what we are taking? If you are saying, if from the header table, we are only only taking one column that is sales document number. If you see from this VBAK, we are only displaying sales document number that is VBELN. So what we will do? I will simply simply write LWA output VBELN is equal to LWA VBAK VBELN. It means if the if we have a sales document number, we are passing it to output. Now, after that, it will check. It will check into VBAP table. If the order number is in the VBAP table, we are going for size sub RC. We are applying the parallel cursor and append. We are appending it to output internal table. But if, if the order number is not in the item table, it means this read table will give the size sub RC other than zero. This is most important part. How, how we will write the code now. If this, if the item data of a sales order does not exist, then this read table will give the size sub RC other than zero. It means we will simply, simply create a else part, else part. So how we will write a else part? I will simply remove this end if from here. And I will write here else. If size sub RC equal to zero, this particular logic will execute else part. I will write. Okay, I will write here else. And now I will go for end if here now. So what will happen? If the record, if the item data is there, size sub RC will be zero. This particular whole logic will execute. If size sub RC is not equal to zero, it means item data is not there for that particular sales order. So system will go to which part? Else part. And I will simply, simply append that data to output internal table. 
if item data is not existing it means we only only want to display the header data and in the header data what we have as of now only sales document number and yes i will simply simply clear the work area i will write clear lwa underscore output i will go for pretty printer and i will check the syntax and i will activate now we will use the transport request which we created just now this is the transport request now impact is very very important we did the changes but it should not be the case because of this existing things should not hamper so we need to do, do the testing for all the things all the things so what i will do i will go for 20th august as well as i will go for 21st august and 22nd august suppose firstly i will go for the 10th november then i will go for 21st and 22nd august on 10th november we created one sales order 118 suppose i will simply simply put a break point and show you i will put a break point then we will go for other scenarios i am executing this is 10th november we created one sales order 118 without item data so we got the sales order 118 now 118 is not in the item table if condition is true but this internal table is blank now third query will not execute because this if condition is failed itself now we are on this loop we are moving the sales document number to work area now you can see in the output internal table yes we have the sales document number now it is checking into this ltvbap now it is 118 is not in the item table so have you seen size sub rc is other than 0 size sub rc is 8 and you can see when size sub rc is 8 system went to which part else part and in the else part also we are appending data to output internal table just see we have only only sales document number line item numbers are not i line item data is completely blank now if i will go for simply simply execute now in this output internal table we have one record one record if i will execute now you can see 118 is coming in the output now customer is okay yes see we do not have item data that we can understand but previously it is not coming in the output now because of this changes existing things should not hamper so what i will do i will go for a date combination in which we have the had data who has line items who do not have line items suppose if i will go for 21st august to 22nd august so we have the order number 74757617 these three sales order numbers has the item data this 117 do not have the item data so we will see it should not be the case the existing things are hampering now so we will put this particular date combination we will put 20th august 
and you can go for any test case in your system which has item data which do not have item data now i will go to desktop 3 i will execute the first query and you can see when i executed the first query i got three sales order number four sales order number 71 72 73 117 this if condition true now out of these four sales order item data exists only for three sales order and you can see in ltvb ap we do not have 117 we have 71 72 73 now we based upon that we are fetching data from makt table and we got the descriptions of the materials now we are simply sorting the internal table yes now we will see how it will work now ltvbak firstly it will go for 72 we are simply simply doing f6 now we are passing vbeln to output internal table but yes 72 is in the item table so size sub rc will be zero our all previous logic will execute it is perfectly fine so we have in lt output we have 72 now i will not go into detail of the previous thing because it is already explained in detail now first record perfectly fine now we will come on to second iteration now 71 moved to work area now you can see when 71 moved to work area in this ltvb ap do we have 71 yes we have 71 because we have item data so it is perfectly fine size sub rc is zero same logic is executing and data appended to output internal table in the output internal table we have now 71 also now this inner loop will come out this is parallel cursor logic you all know very well now loop will come for third iteration now what is third record 73 is 73 is in the item table yes it is in the item table so size sub rc zero parallel cursor logic will execute and data is appending to output internal table and you can see in the output internal table we have 71 72 73 and for all these three item data exists now we will come on to 117 now you can see now fourth record 117 moved to work area 117 we passed it to output work area also now this is failed now failed because it is not in the item table now you can see size sub rc is 8 other than 0 but still we are appending that data to output internal table and you can see we have four records for first three item data is existing but for last one item data is not existing previously this is not at all coming in the output now because of our code changes we handled a else part also now everything is perfectly fine now customer is saying yes I'm able to get the line items. I'm able to get this. I'm sorry. I'm able to get the orders 
whose line item does not exist. An important bug and most common bug which we found into the projects. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we have written the logic for the bug which customer identified and yes, what we did. As of now, we only only did that part if the data is in the item because our append logic for the output internal table we have written in the item. But now what we did, we handled a else part also. If the item data does not exist for a sales order, we are appending only the header data to the output internal table and we got the expected output.